mtazamaji wangu ninawasalimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo eh, kwa majina naitwa Aposto Matthew Ndicho kutoka kanisa la Jesus Gospel to Church Ministry eh, Yamina Town I want us to pray because of the word of God I've said my names my name's uh, Al Matthew Ondicho. I minister in the ministry called Jesus Gospel Out to Church Ministry. Right now, I'm in Yamira Town. We have a church here in Yamira Town behind 22 or Yamira Tattoo Building. Just come on Sunday and the first with us here in Yamira Town. I want to bring the word of God and before I bring the word of God uh, let me pray before I bring the word of God Father in heaven this evening I want to thank you King of Kings because of your word I want to thank you because of my viewers whenever they are watching me from I speak a blessings in their lives I speak a blessings in their family in the name of Jesus Father I, pray, Father, I pray that you bless them, you protect them, King of Kings, and the Lord of mercy, you meet their needs in the name of Jesus. May you receive all the praise, and may you receive all the honor. As I bring your word, King of Kings, I pray, King of Kings, for open heaven. The job and China, you give us a revelation for your word, and you speak to us this evening. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and I believe. Amen. <coughs> My viewers, I'm coming, I've said I'm coming to you from uh, the middle town. There is a message God has uh, spoken to me today. I would like to share with you today. And uh, I believe it will be a blessing to your life. It will be a blessing to your family. And, and uh, it will also be a blessing in my life. Uh, I want us to go direct in the, in the book of First Samuel, First Samuel 16, verse 17. First Samuel 16, First Samuel 16, verse 17, verse 17. It says, "So Saul so said to his servants, provide, provide me now a man who can pray." well and bring him to me so so say to servants provide me now a man who can pray well and bring him to me uh there is a topic and there is a word the lord has spoken to me today and uh, it says i want to talk about the destiny connectors for divine fulfillment. That's our message or our topic today. Uh, it says destiny connector for divine fulfillment. Let me repeat again. Destiny connector for the divine fulfillment. Uh, my viewers I want you to know that in life, in this life, there are people who are designed, who are designed to be your helpers. There are people in this life who are sent to you, who are sent in your life. But because of your, because of your misunderstanding, because you do not discern because you know we need the spirit of god so that we can discern the kind of the people who are sent into our lives we need the spirit of god so that we can discern now you realize most of the people who are sent in your life what you did and what i did we despise them you underrated them 
because you don't have what we call it the same spirit to know the kind of the people who are sent into your life there are men and women who are designed who are sent in your life but because you lacked what we call it uh, uh, spiritual eyes and because I lacked what we call it spiritual eyes and because the inner man died because the inner man the moment we allowed the inner man to die there are things you cannot understand and there are people who are saved into your life you cannot understand that the, these people they are a saint they are being sent into my life praise be the name of the Lord you know my viewers shida unayo una shida ninayo ni kudarau kila mtu in this life you realize every person you meet in this life you underrate every person you meet you despise every person you meet in this life and then you never know that the person you meet you are trying to underrate is a destiny helper is a destiny connector in your life you know in this life you have been praying and trusting God for the job uh, you have been trying and uh, trusting God for marriage you want to get the mar uh, marriage you want to get uh, a spouse you want to get a good wife a good husband but you realize people are people God is sending to you you don't know maybe one of them is your husband or one of them is your wife the way you talk to them is like the way you talk to any person you meet in this life you know the way the way you talk to them uh you talk to them like uh, someone who is not ready to talk to any person but you don't know this is a destiny helper this is a destiny connector kunawata umetumwa kusaidia lakini umo wadharau umo waribia jina umo wapiga vita you fight them day and night and they are your destiny connectors do you know do you know the people who have supported him much those are the same people you have fight them day and night you fought you fought you fought for them so much the people who supported you so much the people who helped you the people who helped your family you have been fighting them you have been fighting them and uh, you you did not realize you didn't realize that these are the destiny helpers destiny connectors now you are suffering now you are struggling now you are crying now you are sh shedding tears asking god where are you i want to see you i need a miracle where do you expect a miracle to come from and the people who are sent with the miracles you chase them you chase them you're just trusting god for the miracles you're praying god for the miracles in your life you're just trusting god for the great things in your life but the people who are sent with the people are sent into your life with the great things you chase them you spoil their names you spoil their names what am i going to do with idea sasa uliwaribia majina uliwapiga vita eh yani you did nasty things nasty things to their lives and now you expect the same people to become your destiny connector you expect the same people to become your destiny helper they will be taken to another person they will be taken to another country praise be the name of the lord now you know uh, saw 
was there was a spirit there was an evil spirit was distressing uh, Saul. There was a distressing spirit was trapping the life of Saul. There was a, a distressing spirit was trapping the life of Saul. Who is Saul? Saul is, a, Saul is the first king in Israel. And uh, Saul is the son of uh, Kish. And uh, according to the word of God, Saul was a rebellious before God. Saul was not faithful to God. Saul was unfaithful to God. Now, there is a distressing, a distressing spirit which was troubling Saul. Why? The reason is why there was a distressing spirit troubling a uh, uh, soul. It is because the spirit of God departed. The spirit of God departed from Saul. The spirit of God departed from Saul. Now, when the spirit of God departs from your life, when you allow the spirit of God to depart from your family, when you allow the spirit of God to depart from the church where you, you fellowship, you minister eh? there will be a distressing spirit in your life everything will be disturbed in your life everything will be upside down because the spirit of god is our teacher is our guide is our counselor the spirit of god has many things to do in our lives now so when we read the Bible, Saul said to his servant, he talked to his servant, he spoke to his servants, and, uh, and he said what his servant, provide for me. He needed someone, he needed someone to do what? To pray, to pray to him. So, he needed someone he needed someone to do what? He needed, he needed someone who was skillful in the prayer or, or what? In the harp. Yani tunaita kimupi. Alitaka mtu ambaye anaweza kamchesea kimupi. Because there was a, a distressing spirit was trapping him. My viewers. He needed someone who was skillful. He needed someone who was skillful prayers. Uh, he requested his servants and he said to his servants, Find for me. Provide for me. Find for me. Get for me. Someone who can do what? Who can pray well and bring him to home. To me. Now, verse 18. What does the Bible say? Verse 18. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look. Look. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I've seen a son of Jesse. I've seen a son of Jesse. Who is David? David is the second king. In Israel, David is a second king in Israel. He was a humble man. David knew the power of repentance. David knew the secrets uh, of humbling himself before the Lord. He knew the secrets to humble before the Lord. You can uh, have a good gift. You can be a good singer. But when you lack misunderstanding, when you don't understand that it's God who lifts people and it's God who put people who bring people down. You can wake up in the morning and you find you're down without knowing what made you to be down and you were up. So he knew the power. They knew the power of repentance. They 
knew the power of prayer. David was a dancer. He was a dancer. He's the son of Jesse. He's the youngest son. He's the youngest son of Jesse. Uh, and and he's the second king in Israel who was being anointed by, by the prophet uh, Samuel. Now, David was a dancer and he was also a fighter. David was a fighter. Uh, David was a dancer. He knew how to dance. He knew how to jump. David was a prayer. David knew the power of prayer. Huh? David was a, 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 a God fearly. Regardless of the challenges and the weaknesses he had, he was a God fearly. And the Bible says, God said, I'm not against a man who had a, a spirit or the heart, like the heart of uh, David. I'm a man, God fearing man, a fighter. Huh? He knew the secret of lacing a godly altar. He knew the power of altar. He raised so many altars for the Lord. Amen. Now, there was a servant. There was one of the servant of uh, there was one of the servant of uh, of Saul, and he said to Saul, and uh, the, the one of the servant, he said, "Look, I have seen son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in praying, a mighty man, a mighty man." A man of war. David was a man of war. David, David was a prudent in his speech. And David was handsome. David was a prudent in his speech. And David was handsome. Another thing we're supposed to know about David. David was a man who the Lord, the Lord was with him. David was a man the Lord was with him. He was a prudent person. He was humble man. David was a someone or a person the Lord was with him. And David was a mighty man. He was a mighty man. He was a fighter. Praise be the name of the Lord. Another thing, David was handsome man. You know, Beautiful to be a beautiful lady, woman, without the spirit of God, you are useless. To be a very handsome young man without the spirit of God, without the power of God, without God being with you, you become useless. We need the power of God. In our lives, we need the God to establish our lives. We need the God to establish our shape, our heart. Praise be the name of the Lord. Now, about David, we have learned about David as I talk about destiny connector for divine fulfillment. He was a fighter, he was a handsome man, he was a prudent person. Huh? David was a man. God was with him. The Lord was David. He was with him. You know, the Lord cannot be with you if you are not with him. You should be. You need to be with the Lord so that the Lord can be can be with you. Eh? The Bible says, "People who seek me, they find him. People who seek him, who seek me, they find him." One and Men and women who seek him, they, they find him. That's what our, our God says. Now, therefore, Saul sends messenger. He sent a messenger to which your son say, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. David was a breeder. Another one you're supposed to know about David, he was a breeder. He was a breeder. David was a breeder. And uh, 
Some send a message, and a message is sent messengers. It seems that the people saw sent to go and bring who? To go and bring David. <laughs> why do you think why do you think Saul brought all the information about uh, David? There was someone, there was one of the servants who connected David with his boss. There was one of the servants of uh, Saul who connected David with who? With the king. And uh, you know, and the young goat and send them by his son David to to Saul. So the one says, so David came to Saul and stood before him. He came and stood before the king. And when he stood before the king, and he loved him greatly, and he became his Amor Pera. Amor Pera. David became Amor Pera of the king. Then Saul sent to Jesus, saying, Please let David stand before me, for he has found favor in my eyes. For he has found favor in my eyes. We need to pray God to give us favor. Spirit of rejection is not our portion. Spirit of rejection is not our portion. We should pray for God is favor. Day and night just pray for God is favor over your life. Take much time to pray. Take much time to seek God. And tell God I need favor. Favor. So what happened to David? The Bible says, uh, the king said to the king said to Jesse, "Get David say uh, he said for he has found favor in my sight." So David found favor in the sight of who? In the sight of the king. Why? You know, David was favored, and but even if he was favored, he needed a man. <laughs> you need a man. Even if you are a viva, you need a man. Even if you preach well, you need a man. You need a destiny connector. Even if you have a church, even if you are a powerful preacher, you need a, you need a man. Huh? Don't chase everybody you meet in life. Don't rebuke every person, everybody who come in front of you. And the same person you call Satan, Satan, is your husband. The woman comes into your life, the way she's dressing, this is a prostitute. I cannot tell you with a prostitute like this. And the woman you are calling a prostitute, she's your wife. God has sent to you. And after you just ah, you start to pray. My viewers, most of the time we give God a lot of work. We give God a lot of work. Huh? Most of the time, God becomes weary because of our prayer. I know the, 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 the way you want, all the way I want destiny connect us, all destiny help us to come into our lives. I know the way you want them to come. I don't know maybe you want them to come like uh, angels. God will not come to you as angels as you think. God will not come to me as angels as you think. There is a way he does things. There is a way God he does things. He will not come as angels as you think. Now, destiny connectors, destiny elders will not come to you as uh, angels, as angels as, as you think. Huh? 
They will come to you the way you don't expect them to come. They will come to you the way you don't expect them to come. Now listen. There are the people there are the people who are designed to be a halibus and the connectors to your destiny. In this life, there are the men and the women who are designed to be your halibus. Uh, not only to be halibus, also to be a connectors to your destiny. Listen, my viewers. Every person, every man, every woman has a destiny. I have a destiny. People, people tell you that people tell you that you don't have a destiny. You have a destiny. People tell me that I don't have a destiny. I have a destiny. There is no man in this world who does not have a destiny. Each and every person has a destiny. But there is something here. You need someone to connect you to your destiny. You need a destiny connector so that he can connect you with the blessings which is in that destiny. You need a destiny connector in this life. You need a job. But the people you meet in this life, you know, who are working, who are Tuesday, you insult them. Most of the people who have come into your life, you have been insulting them. You have been rebuking them, insulting them, underrating them. Huh? And then the same people, you want them to get the job for you. You need a job, a certain company. Maybe the people you meet on the road, they are the managers of those companies. Maybe the people you meet on the, in where? In the vehicles, in the matatus. And I don't be a song, I say, Miss is song. Miss is song. To me, I kill. <laughs> now, when I see that, you have a lot of problems, you have a lot of challenges. But even the way you communicate, even the way you speak, you don't know the people you're speaking to. Maybe they carry your blessings. Maybe they carry your destiny. Maybe they carry your vehicle. Maybe they carry your house. Maybe they carry your approach. They carry your land. The people you're speaking to. But you don't know. I don't know. When we meet them, we just say, oh, why proud that you have money? You want to show us your money? You want to show us you have a good work? We don't care. That's your work. That's not the language you can use. Just talk to them brightly. In a bright way. In a bright way. In a humble way. Because maybe whatever you need, those are the people who have what you need. <laughs> Maybe those are the people who have what you need. But you don't know what I don't know. You know, Angaria, you look at them the way their outfit, the way they are dressing. Eh? You say, ah! Oh. Mm, I cannot argue with such people who dress like this. I cannot argue with this woman who dress like this. I cannot argue with this man who dress like this, the way her dress is not the way she dress or the way he dress he may dress, he may not dress well he may dress poorly but it's your destiny connect maybe whatever she has is not what you have whatever he has is not what you have respect people, talk to people love people greet people, say no heart don't pretend that you are born again, you are not great people. Don't pretend that you are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. 
You are so holy, you cannot greet people, you cannot talk to people. You need a man to, to, to man you, but you don't greet people. You say, me, I need God himself to come from heaven and come with my husband. Me, I don't have any business with any woman, with any man. Huh? Destiny Connectors. It is God himself who sent Destiny Connector. They are not from the devil. So there are people who are designed into your life. But you don't want them, I don't want them. Because of pride you have, because of the pride I have. You don't need them. I don't need them. Now you realize because you don't need them and I don't need them, our blessings, it, it will be taken to another person. Our destiny connectors will be connected to another person. Now, every destiny needs a helper. Every destiny needs a connector. Every destiny needs a helper. Every destiny needs a helper. David was connected. David was being connected by one of the servants of Saul. He connected David to Saul. He replied to the king, there is a man, handsome, prudent, God-fearing, a fighter. Uh, if you can call him to come, you will enjoy the king. So, every destiny, it means what we call a helper. Every vision, every vision needs a provision. That's point number three. Every vision needs provision. Every vision needs a provision. And every destiny needs a helper. Every destiny needs a helper. Every destiny needs a help. And every vision needs a provision. <laughs> There is no a vision which we succeed or go far without a provision. If you have a vision, you need a, you need a provision. And uh, if I have a vision, I need a provision. If we have a, a if we have a, a destiny, you need a helper. If I have a destiny, I need a help. If you have a destiny, you have a con you need a connector. You need a connector. Now, another thing, another point, you need to know: do things that can change a life and make it better are what you know and who you know. Two things that can change a life and make it better are what you know and who you know. Many people are tied down because of ignorance. Each time, each time God wants to move a life, each time God wants to move a life forward, He uses people. Each time God wanted to use what? Someone. Each time God wants to, to move a life forward, when the moment God wants to move a life forward, He uses people. <laughs> huh? And there's a, it is someone who came to anoint the first king in Israel, Saul. So, it is someone, the prophet who came to anoint the second king in Israel, David. God uses people. He use people. So the people you are married so much, God, God can use them. God has been using them. But because of your ignorance, and because of my ignorance, that's what you see. You remain many years where you are. I remain many years where I am. Because of ignorance. God uses people. One of the pastors who came and told me, I cannot get saved until God himself 
comes and ministers to me. I want to call himself to speak to me, to come and tell me, go to church. <laughs> you know, God uses people, my viewers. The moment God wants to, to do something in this world, anything God wants to, to do in this world, he uses people. The blessings you need, God will send someone. Not the angel. Maybe that person will be an angel. Not the angel from heaven. And they will send someone you know and some of the people you know, you don't know them. But the way you will treat them, the way I will treat them, it will be the way, it will be the way I will receive the reward or whatever they can. Because we have we have said and I've said every vision needs provision. Now, so the moment God wants to do something, <laughs> He uses people. We have to a new anaishi. Maybe you can you must smart see you buy anaka. Maybe you live a very nice house. And the person coming to you does not live in a good house the way you live in a good house. But no, there is something different. That person carries. He carries. Or she carries what you don't have. Can I do something? The, my grace is not your grace. You cannot compare the grace I can and your grace. And that's why in the Bible we have teachers, uh, we have uh, pastors, we have prophets, we have apostles, we have evangelists. And uh, everyone uses a spirit as a spirit directed in, or as a spirit guide in or her. That's why some of the people sometimes. We compare ourselves with the grace we can't like our pastors. You cannot compare the grace you can with the grace your pastors can't. The grace your pastor can't. He can't. Now, Jesus had the command of one, 120, he had a command of 70, he had a command of 12. And John, the beloved, was the only which Jesus eventually handed over his mother. <laughs> Jesus had the disciples. He had the disciples. He had seven disciples. He had twelve disciples. He had uh, three disciples. Three disciples. He had uh, James. He had uh, John. He had James, John, Peter. We call them the inner circle disciple of Jesus. The inner circle, the disciple of Jesus. This is John, the beloved disciple. And we also have uh, Peter. We also have John. We have John, Peter, the three disciples. We call them the inner disciple of Jesus John Peter and James John Peter and James John Peter and James we call them the inner disciple of Jesus but now listen, even if with all, with all those numbers, with all those numbers of the disciples, Jesus handed, he did what we call it, handing over. He handed over his mother to John. He handed over his mother to John. He handed over his mother to John. <laughs> For three reasons, for a season, for a purpose, and for a lifetime. 
now. Types of people, types of people we need. Types of people need it. You need a person of grace. Number one, I'm the types of people you need. Number one, we need a, a person of grace. You need someone of grace in your life. You know, what makes a man to stand out is the grace. That's why you see, a Russia, he needed Elijah. Elisha, Itaka, Elia. Naman, with what we call it, lepros. Lepros could not be healed. If Naman could not hear the slave guy, he could die. Naman may have died on what? A lepros. Even not the retro God that had all of the information about the solution of the solution to his, his problems. The young girl, the retro girl, she had a liberation where the prophet was. So, for Naman Repros, Syria, it, it was that the, it was that the retro slave guard advised Naman. That the retro slave guard he advised Naman. And I thank God. Because even if Naman was uh, opposed, finally he accepted. And they went. For Joseph it was Pharaoh. Chief Ke Chief Kapera, Chief Kapera, it was a, a Kapera who said to the king, Pharaoh, that there is someone who can interpret these dreams. And who was, who was to interpret the dreams? Joseph was to interpret the dreams. But Joseph was where? He was in the prison. Joseph was put in the prison. So coming out of the prison, <laughs> you need a destiny elevator to, to connect you. Alisema, kuna mtu wako kwa jela mwewe. If we call that man, if we send someone to pick that man, he will come here and interpret the dreams. Huh? This is a daughter. This is a daughter of Abuja that I've So there's someone, there's someone assigned to help. Now, what you know about destiny connectors? It is called that bring them your way. It is called to bring them your way. Facts to know about the destiny connectors. It is called instead of bring them your way. It is called instead of who bring them in our way. Point number two. You don't choose them but God does. It is called instead of who does but we don't choose them. I don't choose them. You don't choose them. Point number three. They may appear with burden and problems. <laughs> Uh, some, of the, some of the destiny helpers, some of the destiny connectors, sometimes they, may, they appear like uh, problems, like people who have problems, like people who are suffering. But they are being sent. God has sent them. So if you focus so much on their weaknesses, there are things you will miss. There are things you will lose. You will mess up. You will mess up. Now, now, point number four, you may be insignificant to you. You may be insignificant to you. Point number six, they may be of a lower education. 
exposer and the grass too. <laughs> Those destiny connections, they may be a lower education. Maybe they have not, um, uh, they don't have the experience you have. Maybe your experience is higher than the, the experience. Maybe my experience is in a zero than your experience. But I can be your destiny connectors. Because it's about God himself who sent them. You know what I want to do? It's God So, there may be a lower education. There may be lower. There may be of lower education. Exposure and the class to you. Point number seven, they may be they may depend on you for survivors. They may be they depend on you for survivors. Another point that they may be your colleague. Huh? Sometimes they can be your colleague. Destiny connects us. They may be your colleague sometimes. Or I am the person who is 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 the when you find that they are pretending they have a good job and you already need a job and you don't have a job you have to respect them, you have to honor them, you have to love them so that you connect with that grace so that they can become your destined elders to that job so some of them they can be your colleague they can be your colleague some of them they can be your colleague your colleague can be your destined partner your brothers can be your destiny connected. Uh, your aunties, your uncles, your neighbors can be your destiny connected. Uh, the people you don't know, the people you have never seen, they can be your destiny connected. Now, without them, you may believe a miserable life. Without destiny connectors, Destiny and past, you may do what? You may live miserable life. My brother, my sisters, my viewers, I believe that you are blessed by that someone. I believe you are blessed by the word of God. My prayer today, because you are listening to the word of God, my prayer is that. God to open your eyes and God to open my eyes to know and to understand people destiny connectors who are being sent into our lives. May the Lord give us a discerning spirit. May our inner man to be aroused so that we can discern what the Lord has sent in our life. Allow me to pray for you. I believe you are blessed. I love you so much. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before you this evening. I want to thank you because of your word. Your word give us victory. Your word show us the way. Bless all my viewers, my brothers, my sisters, you are servants who have been watching us, who have been following us. I pray that you are blessed. Let your word dwell in us. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open our eyes to respect and to honor our destiny, connect us, our destiny, help us who are being sent into our life. Father, bless us, O oh God. Bless your people. And the Father, let your will be done in your heart. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we have learned that we can live a miserable life the way we underlay destiny helpers and destiny connectors. We have learned today that there are things we will be waiting. And then the real says you have already said to us, but we have ignored, and because of ignorance, we are suffering and facing so many challenges. Help us, Lord, to understand times and seasons. 
in our lives. May you receive all the praise and may you receive all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. I pray and I believe. Amen. God bless you so much. As I say, my name is Dr. Matthew Richo. I minister with a ministry called Jesus Gospel Out in Church. Right now, we are in Yamira Town, if you know Yamira Town. Uh, we are one of the past in Yamira Town, we are our friend, we are following us. I don't much welcome you in our service on Sunday here, and we will get blessed. On Tuesday, we have a prayer and deliverance service here in Yamira. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you, to invite you, to come and be our guests. We should be very much happy to see you. God bless you. I love you so much. Shalom. Shalom. See you at the same time, at the same hour, like this. In Jesus' name.